Hello everyone. In the last video, we were able to create a, a Microsoft Azure machine learning experiment and we were able to load customer data. Then we were able to cleanse the data by removing nulls, ha records having nulls, and then we were able to narrow down on our columns which can potentially affect our learning model, machine learning model. In this video, we're gonna actually implement linear regression model on this data set. In order to do that, always we need to have a trained training data set, data set on which the model would be trained and test data set, which can help evaluate or score the model which we tra trained and see if the model is good or not. So in order to do that, let's first split the data. The data split is again for training and testing the model. It's very intuitive. You wanna split, type split. Once you type split, you would see split data and output of select columns would go into the split data here. And in the properties, you can specify a ratio percentage for split 0.8. That means 80% of the data would go to port one, which is which will be used for training. The more the data for training, better it is. And any person would be used for testing. Please remember that if you have two separate data set already, you don't have to do this. But as we have only one data set, I'm doing this split thing. Now, once you have the data split, Let's run it. And once the run is completed, we will analyze the records. Right click on the port one, say visualize. You can see 230 records out of total 287 records would be training data set. And 200 out of 287, 57 records would be for testing. Next, as I mentioned, we're gonna use linear regression. So search for linear regression model. In the next few series of the video, we are gonna talk about when to use what kind of model. So linear regression is the algorithm we are gonna use and we're gonna train the model now. It's so intuitive, you have to understand you know, what needs to be done next and just search for it. Most likely you're gonna get a hit. So train model. Model for training on the left, it's the algorithm, which is gonna be the linear. And on the right port, it's a data set for training, which is the output of split data, the first port which is 80% of the total data set. Next, you have to specify what is your target variable? What is your target column? What is the target value? And our target is to be able to, able, be able to predict, know, you know, train the model to know what would be the average monthly spend of a customer based on the demographics. Now let's run it. So once the model is run, the model is trained. And obviously, once the model is trained, we are gonna score the model based on its, its, its training level. 
So score model. In order to score model, again two ports. Main model, which is this, gonna be connected here. And this is remember is the testing data, which is gonna be on the right side. And run. So split the data, the linear regression model, train the model, and then score the model. Let's see what is the score. And there you go. So right click and visualize. Scroll on the far right and you would see scored labels and monthly spend. See here it scores as it's the original training model, see 57 records. For the trained data, it says 550, but the model is able to predict 512, which is lower, which is fine. You know, this is how you you build and evolve a model creation method. Look at uh, some closely matched records like 1525, it's 1514, which is pretty close. Uh, this value is a bit far. 1800 and 1781. 1445. So this model is some for some values is close, and for some values it's not that close at all. So this is the score data set. Now let's go ahead and do some evaluation on the model. For evaluation, to find out how good or bad the model is, let's search for evaluation, right? Eval. It's so intuitive. So evaluate model. This evaluate model functionality can help compare two models, which I'm going to show you in the next set of videos. And just connect the score model to evaluate model and then run. Once it's run, it's going to give us some stats on the type of and the training, the capability of the model. So in the evaluate model, go to evaluation results and say visualize. It gives you a few metrics. Means absolute error. That means what is the mean of all the errors between the training data and what the score it gave in the last one. So what I mean is these metrics are calculated based on score model, what we just saw. So the difference between what's the actual was and what it was able to score calculated and their mean is what is shown here in the evaluation. So the mean of all the differences is mean absolute error, which is 104. It's 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 off by 104 or $105 from the actual value of the monthly spend, which is not bad at all. Root square root of this error, which is 137. So for all the errors, the smaller the value, the bad better is the model. So absolute error is 0 0.19 and squared error is 0 0.05. Coefficient of determination, COD as we call it as, if it is closer to 1, it's better. It's 0.94, which is not bad at all. And this is your error histogram. So it gives you a fairly okay model like of $105, $107 off, plus or minus, is not that big. Obviously, we want to do better, but this is a good start. So let's see the model in a holistic way. You have the machine learning, cleanse the data, cleanse the rows, cleanse the column, split the data, apply the regression model. Splitting is training and test for training. Once the model is trained, let's score. Score on the training data set, test data set. And 
then evaluate the model. So in the next video, I'm going to show how to create a web service on this model. Thank you for watching.